You're always told that something good will happen when you least expect it. This is what happened to me. Hey guys, so I am on a very special date with Jeanette McCurdy. But not this cardboard cutout, the real Jeanette! Yeah! Yeah! How's it going? Good, how are you? It's lovely to finally meet you. Lovely to finally meet you as well. <laughs> how are you finding it in the UK? Do you like it? I love it. It's so The people are very charming. Um, I've been in a couple of really cute little quaint pubs and did some shopping yesterday. So it's been super Wicked. fun. Mm -hmm. Do you like the British accent? I love the British accent. I just wish that I, all my friends could just have British accents. I feel like it'd make them so much more interesting. Sorry, I mean, friends. I mean, <laughs> I, could, I could always be your friend. I would love for you to be my friend. Yeah? <sighs> right, okay. <laughs> so you're over here in the UK to promote your new show, Sam and Cat. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, I'm gonna tell you first that I'm, I'm gonna, throughout this entire interview, be licking lipstick off my teeth. That's fine. Because Ollie has told me, right before we started the interview, that I had lipstick on my teeth. Your so now I'm very, very self-conscious about they it. They look very nice. They are super glossy. <laughs> It feels like I have a like village of people on my lips because there's so much It's happening. fine. I, I'm just going to keep looking at your lips <laughs> now, but yeah. Great. Um, so Sam and Kat's a show about two girls who are complete opposites. One's brazen and brash and uh, rude, obviously me. And then one is like girly and uh, feminine and very um, sort of naive. And that's the cat character played by Ariana Grande. These two girls uh, meet up and because they both need jobs and a place to live, they become roommates and they start a babysitting service together. Wicked. So we got to talk about something here. Okay. Do you remember tweeting me the other day? I do remember tweeting you the other day. Yeah, right. It was like 48 hours ago, so I remember it well. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm remembered. Okay, I'm just going to tell you how it went. Okay. So you said that you just landed in London. I did. I replied with, now we can go on that date. <laughs> Which then you said, yeah, question mark. So, so does this, that mean this is our first date then? I think it does. I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. So on the subject of dates, I think you should share your dating tips with me. All right. And help me try and get a girlfriend. All right. Because that's one of my massive Sounds problems. Good. I maybe the first tip would be when you're on a date with a girl, not to say how you want to find a girlfriend, assuming it's somebody else. Well, I just okay. You can be my girlfriend. Then. <laughs> What's your number one tip for asking someone to go on a date? My number one tip is to um, don't overthink it. Just. Be yourself and, um, I mean, all girls love to laugh, so maybe try to make the girl laugh and just and just be kind. Don't uh, don't be too cocky. Sometimes I think guys think cough, cockiness comes across as like being self-assured, yeah. but it just comes across like being a jerk. Do you think, <laughs> do you think I, I asked you on a date all right I over think Twitter? You did. I think Twitter is... As that was the only way I could get hold no, of you. I think, you know, nowadays Twitter definitely, like, it connects people who might not necessarily have been able to connect uh, if not for Twitter. So I think in that way it's good. But if you're, like, friends with somebody and yeah. you just, like, tweet them, let's go out, that's, like, no, nah, yeah, that's, nah. that's a bit weird, mm -hmm. isn't it? So I always have the problem of knowing where to take a girl. You know, cinema, bowling, yeah. where'd, where'd you go? Where would you take someone? I would say, uh, I think cinema, or a movie theatre as we call it, uh, in but boring terms. But I feel <laughs> you don't actually talk to That's them. That's the worst. It's the worst. Worst, isn't it? Movie theatre, never, 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 because you're just going to be sitting there and like, I'm, a super, I'm an intense movie watcher, so I'm like... That's the same with me. You know what I mean? They try and talk to you, I'm like, no, I'm watching yeah, film. Yeah, exactly. Don't be bothered with that exactly. opposite gender freak We are sitting so next alike. to you. I'm just saying, so alike. this is great. <laughs> um, I like like something where you're seeing like, maybe at a park or something pretty where you can oh, talk, have park. a good conversation. And then um, getting some food, even though that has its own sort of awkward situations because you're like worried about how much you should eat and then yeah. if you have something in your teeth. And just then like you, dating and then you have to worry general. about does the guy pay for the food or do you split it 50 50? I never worry about that. You're no? paying. I, like, okay. You are paying. <laughs> Better earn some money then. How should <laughs> someone dress on a date? Um, you should dress in a, in a presentable, classy way, but a way that's also comfortable to you. I would say you have a really good date outfit. Yes, <laughs> I mean, I spent quite a while, especially doing the hair. Did you really? What was your process? Um, having a shower, obviously, blow drying it, then a bit of gel, hairspray to keep this bad boy up. I'm so glad you went for the shower. I kn yeah, that you know that was obviously <laughs> a major part. You're looking very fancy yourself. Oh, very thank nice. You. Thanks. Your um, hair is spot on as well. Can't really say 
Thank say you. anything else, really. <laughs> what do you normally do if there was an awkward silence? I relish in it. I just wait for the other person to talk. I am not going to be the first person to break that awkward silence. I am going to enjoy it. I'm going to sip a cup of tea. I'm just going to... You seem like a really easygoing person, though, on a date. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pretty easygoing. Your, your character is, you know, really <laughs> fun and energetic, so I don't... I don't think there'd be any awkward moments with me and you or anything. Oh, no, certainly not. No? No. Okay, so, um, I mean, you, you said, you know, there's a lot of people in the room that yes. are watching. So, would you consider going on a second date, maybe? I would, and perhaps with the uh, absent of the, of the surplus guests. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and obviously without the cameras or something. And without the standy of me that's staring yeah, right at I me mean, right now. Yeah, I mean, that's quite freaky the over side. there. I mean, when I, when I came in, it was sitting, I was like, oh, no, that's an actual cardboard cutout. <laughs> I got quite freaked out. So, so that's, a, that's a second date then. Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> Done so well. <laughs> I actually went on a date with Jeanette McCurdy. I, I still don't know what to say about it. But if you've liked the video, then please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I just want to say a massive thank you once again to Nickelodeon, You Generation, and Jeanette McCurdy for letting me interview and the other guys for setting up the interview. Without you... I wouldn't have gone on this date, so you are amazing. But I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! Ollie, Ollie, uh, Ollie, Ollie, uh, Ollie, Ollie, uh, Ollie, 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 So his name is Ollie White, and he's the best in the land, cause every single video he makes is always gonna be grand. Click on his page if you wanna see more, he's got more subs than a jail audio store. You came in, he's not from down under.